All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastically fabulous episode of Formers Friday here on Pop Culture Network that has no Fs in it. So I kind of failed on that one. But hey, guys, I'm here today to do a follow up to last week's episode. So for those of you who saw last week's episode of Formers Friday, you know I talked about the Evolution Optimus Prime. And I promised that today we would talk about Nemesis Prime. And we are going to do that. And I actually opened it already and cut all the stuff. And so now you can see the pieces falling. Because uh, I didn't want to have to mess with that on camera, cutting everything open. So we've got Nemesis Optimus Prime in here. But before we get started on that, 90% of what this review would have been was covering the exact same stuff we covered last week with the Optimus Prime evolution figure. So we're not going to do everything in depth like we did. The only thing really different on this one, besides the color, is that there are some new head sculpts for Nemesis to look more evil than Optimus, and he's got some uh, added accessories. So we're going to look at that stuff, um, but you know, honestly, most of it would be comparing it to the one we saw last week, which does the exact same stuff. So, oh, look, it transforms, and it looks exactly the same. And then, oh, look, it transforms, and it looks exactly the same. So we're only really going to be looking at those differences here today, which would make it a little bit shorter. But uh, last week I talked, a short little video, I asked about what if we did some other type stuff, some bootleg or knockoff or third party or some of that other weird stuff out there that you don't really see a whole lot. And some of you guys years past had been kind of upset with the idea of doing some of that other stuff. You felt it was kind of a, a thumb to the eye of Hasbro to, to do some of that stuff. But it looks like that feeling has kind of shifted now. And some of you guys are a little more open to, to talking about some of that stuff. So I got a good one here. I was at Cracker Barrel of all places, and I ran across this Exchangers 2-in-1. It's a blaster. It's a robot. It's Tatus. That's right. Tatus. He is a blaster and a robot. And apparently he shoots Nerf darts. Um, and there are actually five of these awkward looking things. And all five of them combined together to make this monstrosity of a robot. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all five of them. Tatus. Uh, was the only one they had at my uh, local Cracker Barrel. He is a morphable robot blaster that shoots soft foam darts. So, we are also going to be taking a look at Tatus. <laughs> I, I, I just love the name. There's something about the name Tatus. Uh, it's like the worst name, which also makes it kind of the best. So, we'll get into that a little bit later. But first, let's get back to our Nemesis Prime here. Like I said, I already cut it open and cut out all of the, the, the plastic things and whatever because I didn't want to sit here and fight with all that stuff on video because it takes like an extra, you know, several minutes <laughs> to get through all that garbage. Uh, especially when you're doing it live, it always seems to uh, come out wrong. So, uh, opening up the box here, uh, you know, it's your, your standard, you know, normal Hasbro... Uh, you guys are all familiar. You've got the, well, here it is, this side, the 30th anniversary logo stuff. Uh, you've got the, uh, on the back, what he changes into, how he looks in his different forms. Nemesis Pax. That is, like, the dumbest. Nemesis Pax. Pax is peace. He went from, Optimus went from peace to prime. Nemesis went from peace. I'm, I'm the most peaceful nemesis you've ever had. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. But nonetheless. All right, so. If we pull out the big guy here, uh, this is, of course, almost exactly identical to what we got with uh, our Optimus last week. I'm going to do a double cam here so we can do some close-ups here. Uh, if I can get it to focus, you can see his head is a little different. Um, it's a little more streamlined, I guess you could say, than Optimus. He looks more like he's in battle mode. His eyes have more of that kind of... Uh, you know, evil look to it. He's, he's making evil plans. Uh, but otherwise, Decepticon logos on the arms, but it's the same uh, transformation that we saw before. You've got the cab of when he uh, transforms 
in the chest here. And just like before, kind of hard to pull out, but there he is uh, there. And then this armor piece becomes the trailer. And so we're all pretty familiar with that idea. Same size, same shape, everything as regular Optimus. And he also has the ability to, uh, if we open him up here, there's the opening chest and the opening chest and then the spot inside where you can stick the, the evil matrix, the matrix of doom. I don't know. It probably has a name. It was probably on the box and I missed it. Uh, but yeah, so there's your little matrix. Man, focus. Focus, stupid camera, focus. Uh, and again, this one doesn't actually change into anything. You can pop out this power core uh, piece. It, it's, it's not a head. It doesn't turn into a little robot. Um, you know, there's nothing else to it. It's just a little see-through piece to go in this matrix, which means you could stick, you know, any other uh, guy that you have in there, and he's going to fit just fine. Um, and I'm guessing, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be just as difficult to stick this matrix in here as it was in Optimus, which was very tricky and very difficult to get in there just right. And, uh, yeah, it looks like this is the same... This is going to be the same way. It is, oh, like, it's got to be just perfect in order to get lined up and get in there. And I'm not having a lot of luck. Oh, I should have muted my phone. Oh, let's take care of that now. Um, oh, civil services. What is this? Looks like there might be a thunderstorm coming this afternoon. Great. Thanks for letting me know. That's what I need to know right now while I'm live streaming, guys. Thanks. Uh, so, yeah, really tough to get this matrix thing in his chest just like with regular optimus it's got to be just perfect and then of course he's got the chest inside of the chest because you can see that you know there's there's the actual cab from when he transforms all right so let's actually stick him back in the trailer armor which turns him back into big ass nemesis prime so we've got that big guy there. And that's cool. Uh, I like, I really like the look of that. Uh, I've always liked Nemesis Prime. Uh, I thought he was a really, I call, I think I called him Motor Mouth last week for whatever reason. <laughs> I didn't mean to, or two weeks ago, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I've always liked the look of him. So uh, cool looking. And you can see it's the same stuff. He's got the gear stuff uh, on the windows uh, to kind of hide the fact that there's another cab hiding right behind. And, you know, yes, this version of him is a little chunky because of all the uh, trailer parts. Um, you know, so it makes the arms kind of weird. You've got the legs sticking out of the back. All of that kind of stuff that the, the same problems I had with Optimus Prime are going to be the exact same ones here. Uh, it's not perfect. But again, I, I was a little too hard on it at first, but the more I liked it, or the more I looked at it, the more I liked it, the more it grew on me. And the more I thought, you know, really, because of the price on this thing, you know, you got to cut it a little bit of slack. And really, it is a fantastic uh, transformer, uh, you, you know, for getting what amounts to basically a masterpiece uh, at a much lower price. So, uh, yeah, I came around. I came around a little bit. I softened, uh, I guess you could say. Softened my heart just a little bit towards these evolution figures. Okay, so now we got him. Uh, he's the giant robot. Okay, so uh, some of the main differences, really, with this guy and Optimus is the fact that he's got extra uh, weapons. Um, now, he does have the same gun. If I can get it out of the package here and not drop it on the floor. Okay, so he does have the same gun. Um, so those that want to use just the, uh, you know, standard uh, Optimus Prime style gun, he does have it, and he can use that, and whoo, there you go. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. All right. Uh, but he's got a bunch of extra stuff beyond that. That's all Optimus came with. That was his only weapon, was his gun. So what we can do here is actually add, first of all, there's this sword. Uh, nice big red, I don't know, red, I don't know if that's supposed to be plasma sword or just, you know, it's it's red because it's hot metal, maybe. Uh, slicey dicey. So, and it looks cool. It's uh, kind of a sunburst effect 
on the hilt, you can see it's got a peg, so it can peg in somewhere when he's in the uh, you know tractor trailer mode. Um, and it also has this rectangular attachment on that side. So that probably has something to do also with where he attaches when he's in that tractor trailer mode. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. But he also has another sword. And this is one of the draws. This is... Actually, I need this box. I need the box. What is this sword called? This is Giza. Decepticon Giza. And uh, so... If we take a look at this, you can see we've got this metal sword. Just a nice big silver sword. We'll put it in his hand. Uh, and there he is. Or actually, it probably wants to go the other way, this way. All right. So he's got this big sword in his hand. And that's cool. You know, looks nifty. But this has a secret. What could it possibly be? Well, let me tell you. This is actually a little transformer. If I can figure out, is there like a button release? There's something, there's some way to make this thing transform. Oh, wait, first, first. If you look real close, you can see there's a rectangular peg, if I can get it to focus on there, uh, which looks like it goes right in there. So you've got kind of a double sword thing going on. Uh, so, you can have a monstrosity sword like this, which really makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, but it allows it to have a spot. And that actually, I don't know, that may be how it sits on the back of the, uh, the cab, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that... Yep, it sure is. So looking at the little picture, yeah, that's how it fits on the back of the cab. Okay. But somehow, this sword turns into a bird. And I'm going to have to look at the manual because I'm, I'm pulling on it and it doesn't want to open. I don't know if there's a quick release uh, or whatever on here. And it's just like, nope. All right, so I'm just going to have to pull on this until it pops open. Man, it really feels like it wants to break. Ah, okay. So you don't lift the head. It's not the head part. It's this part that opens. And the blade splits apart and these turn into wings and there you've got Decepticon Giza and Giza is his little bird now there's a little uh, peg hole if you can see that there of course it won't focus why isn't this camera focusing drives me nuts uh, but you can see there's a little peg hole there and so I'm guessing there's some place on here he can be pegged in as the bird and i'm thinking kind of like a sound wave thing maybe on the arm uh or on the head but i'm not seeing any place i wonder maybe it's just for stability i wonder if it's not actually for anything other than to keep him stable you can see he's got one foot and he's got this little silver peg thing. i'll hold it in front of my hat you can see that little silver peg thing and that probably just helps to maybe have him stand up because i don't see anywhere that that actually pegs in. I don't see a spot uh, where it actually attaches. Um, and I'm looking here at these pictures because, you know, a lot of times they put features on these things and they don't really mention them. You know, like it, this can be attached, but they don't tell you that it can be attached there somewhere. So, all right. So anyway, nonetheless, that's the bird and you flip his arms and the tail back over and he's back into a sword. So that's cool. Uh, you're, you're basically getting a bonus little transformer that you didn't have otherwise uh, on the sword. So a little something extra when you pick up Nemesis Prime. Besides the fact that he comes with this sword, he also comes with this sword. Uh, so you got something, you know, bonus going on there. So that is pretty nifty. But that's not all. That's not the only extra stuff that they add. Um, they also have what fell down when I was showing you the package, and that's these guns. These big blasters also attach onto him, and it looks like they are made to somehow go on these arm plates here. Uh, looking at the instructions here, it looks like you just attach them like that. Boom. And he's got big ass guns. So he's got those guns. And of course, I'm sure, you know, while you're playing with them, you want to rotate them. I'm sure you can rotate them 
yeah, that way. Uh, so they can fire when he fires that direction. So he's got those extra guns. And then he's got the swords because he is just, you know, hardcore. Uh, he is the, the Decepticon of destruction who thinks he's Optimus Prime but then has evil memory. So boom, boom, extra guns, extra swords, extra fun. Hey, kids, more weapons. But then we've got this gun, and he can't hold that gun while he's holding this other stuff, but it looks like, according to the instructions, they kind of take care of that, because one of the things that I disliked on the um, Optimus Prime version is on the back, you obviously have the legs and the hands, uh, and with Nemesis Prime, it's a little more hidden because it's all black, so it all fades together as opposed to this being bright blue and the rest of it being red. Uh, so that does make a difference on here. He looks a little bit better in robot mode. But that hand, apparently, you can take his gun and stick it in the hand while it's behind his body here. And you've got a place to put it so it's not in the way. So what we do, if we can get it together, is boom. It's attached on the back. So you get like this little extra pipe, you know, sticking up. And uh, that is his gun on the back, but he's holding all his other weapons. So when he's in robot mode, everything's accounted for. Uh, if I could just fit the Matrix into his dang chest, which is actually the most difficult thing about uh, these figures. But, but, but there it is. So he's got everything. So when you put him on display... In robot mode, everything's accounted for. You don't have loose pieces sitting around. That's one of the big things that bugs me, I think, the most on a lot of these things, is you don't always have a spot to put all these pieces. But now you do. So that's cool. I really like the fact that they uh, you know, have thought that through. That's one extra step. And it looks a little bit better, again, on him, uh, because he's all black. It blends in better. All right, so now... We got to get him transformed into his other mode. And I always, I always hate doing this live. I always hate doing this on a live feed. I, I always mess stuff up. I don't know what I'm doing. And it becomes fairly obvious the more people watch me uh, struggle with this stuff. So, all right. So, pull the cab out. I'm going to set the armor aside here for a second. Let's see, the legs, if we can remember the legs, how do we do this? Uh, well, actually, first, I guess first, let's make him into Orion Pax. So, before we turn him into the truck, since he does have another robot mode, let's see how well all of this works out with him. And i got to remember to do the arms the correct way this week, because last week I kind of had the arms on backwards somehow. Is this right? And then you flip out the hand. Nope, that's the backwards. This is the right way. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get chill out. All right. I know it's, it's, it's a live stream. You got to kind of go with the flow here. All right. So boom, there we have Nemesis Prime. All right. Our Nemesis packs rather. And again, the head I don't know, is there, does this one work better for getting focus, 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 kind of, maybe, there you go, uh, you can kind of see it pretty good there, you can see, again, looks a little more evil uh, than, you know, in your regular Optimus Prime mode, uh, just a little more armorific, a little more, you know, pieces of stuff. Duff sticking out, I guess, uh, just to make it a little more evil looking. But when he's this size, how ridiculous do the swords look, first of all? That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, he is tiny. Those swords are big. He, uh, whoo, that is something. Not bad, though. I mean, not, not really terrible. But that is something interesting to keep in mind uh, while displaying him. Although... When he's in PAX mode, I don't know that you really have anything you can do. These guns kind of fit in this hand. Uh, not, not perfectly, but I guess it gets the job done. You could say that it, 
it's fine. Uh, it just looks a little weird because they are really big on him, but that's just how some of this stuff goes sometimes. All right, so now let's see. We want to turn him back into the cab, and this is a kind of funky transformation. i got to remember how to do this. All right, this lays down. This comes... Oh, boy. When we attach the, some of this stuff together... There we go. I'm just going to switch back to this for a moment while I'm fighting with it here, trying to remember exactly what to do. The arms uh, flip back here. Right? Why isn't that going? Oh, because it flips out this way. Uh, twist around. Flip it up. This is... Whew. All right. Amazing stuff. And here's the thing. All the, the hardcore Transformers fans are sitting there watching going, you dumbass jerk. What are you trying to do here? You're making us all look bad, they say. You're making us look bad like a bunch of idiots. And I say, yep. All right, so flip it down, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. Oh, yes, we got it. All right, so here we go. There is the cab of Nemesis Prime. Looks okay. Uh, nothing too spectacular. Uh, I still have kind of the same criticisms I had when it was Optimus Prime, that the back of it really looks junky. I mean, all of this, like, what is going on here? N none of this really works real well. It, it does get a little covered up when once you put the cab on the back uh, to, to kind of cover up part of that area, but it's still, it's still funky. Uh, it doesn't look quite right. And there's no real way to fix that. It's just, that's the way it is. Um, just because they have to do something with those arms and there's no way to hide them inside. So I understand that there are limitations involved here, uh, but it's still just a little kind of funky annoying. All right. Let's try to get him into his cab mode without looking like too much of a gigantic idiot here. All right. So so we're going to take this. All right, so how do, we, how do we start? We always start with, I don't know. Let's look at the sheet here. we got to fold these panels down. Boop. And then we put the arms up. Boop. Yay, I'm transforming. We take the feet and we kind of push them up. So they're flat. And then we fold these panels out on the legs. No? Yes? Where? Ah, like this. Boop. And boop. Okay. Uh, now that we have that, then, oh, we want to totally flat. And then these fold. So you're seeing that, you know, the cab is starting to kind of come together here. Uh, we're going to attach the legs together. And the feet are becoming basically the back of the tractor trailer. Uh, do we want to flip these around yet? Yes, it looks like we do. So we're going to go ahead and flip these up. You can see it's becoming the cab here. Flip these down and attach them together. And we've got the back of our cab taking shape. And again, you've got a seam here, and it, you know, you, you got this metallic sticker. Uh, I kind of wish, I know this, it, it wouldn't look as nice, but I kind of wish it was painted instead of a sticker because then they could just slap some paint on that joint. It would be less obvious. Or even there's a metal pin in there, uh, and you can see it, the reflection of the light, that's just light. Uh, shining on the black plastic. But I know there's a metal pin. If they actually had cut that open uh, so the metal pin was showing and it would at least kind of uh, continue that metallic look a little bit, that might have been something, but whatever. All right, so we've got these legs. All right, so then we bring up the body a little bit here. We flip these arms over. Is this right? 
flip the arms over, and then it shows them moving in some other fashion. How does this? All right, so <laughs> the instructions, I was, and I did this last week, and it still doesn't make any sense to me. I guess I'm just kind of flipping these out a little bit. Is that right? And then flipping panels. There's panels. These panels? What am I doing here? These instructions are always so difficult for someone like me to follow. I guess, well, part of it is I'm, I'm just an idiot and I'm bad at instructions, I guess. Uh, whoa. Uh, okay. Is this... All right. Here's part of the problem. When I flipped up the arms at the beginning, the, it really... It, it, <sighs> instructions on these things are always terrible. This little panel flips up here. And the arms actually flip through the top here as opposed to actually just twisting the arms up. But it doesn't show that there's a little panel there. It just assumes you understand you're flipping them up that way as opposed to turn, twisting them. Uh, I, I'll never understand how the guys who come up with these instructions come up with these things, how that, how that makes sense to them. Somehow it does, and I don't know how that works. But okay. All right. So I guess we're getting there. So we've got, let's see, part of the arm here which covers, nope, sure doesn't. All right, I'm lost again. I'm lost, I hate, <laughs> dirt smash. There's always something with the way these things go together that, that doesn't make sense to an old guy like me trying to do this stuff. This is, this is the top. This has to go up on top like this. Right? Like this. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm... It's, it's, starting to, it's starting to kind of come together here. The way these things fold together... This... Why isn't this turning? Because this goes like this. Okay. What, that, what, what am I missing? Oh, I got to flip this around one more time. Right? I got to flip it... What is going on here? Does this... That flips. Oh, my gosh. Ah, again. <laughs> and you look at the pictures, and the pictures just, like, show... Hey, flip. Stuff flips. You're like, oh, thanks. All right. So we're going to push. We're trying to get this stuff, and everything is supposed to, like, tab and snap into place. And sometimes they kind of do, and sometimes they kind of don't, and sometimes they, uh, sometimes they're just kind of a pain. We do what we can. You get what you get. You don't throw a fit. This is how they made them, so this is how you got to do it. All right. We're going to snap side panels into place. Exciting. The most exciting part of doing a live stream is always this. Okay. Boom. Finally, we've got our tractor trailer. Okay, so this was the armor. This was the body, basically, of Optimus Prime. And it becomes this trailer that attaches to the cab. But all of the weapons fit on this thing one way or another. So let's see if we can figure out how all of this comes together. So first, we've got this big gun. Same as in our regular Optimus Prime. It goes on the back of the cab here. And of course, I'm going to have to pull it apart a little bit to get the gun in there to then close it back up. All right. So, boom. There's the big gun as it sits on top. Next, we've got the swords. And the swords, like I showed you earlier, the swords actually go together. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, like this. Boom. All right. So now you've got this thing, and this thing somehow fits on the back back here. 
somewhere. But I don't see a good spot for it to really attach. So go back to our instructions here and the instructions show that it sits it sits off center. Okay, so it doesn't go directly in the middle here. It goes off to the side a little bit. So, you know, from the side, it's not too bad, but from head on, it's a little funky for what it does. All right, and then finally, we've got our two uh, big-ass guns here, which they say go... Ah, okay. So they cheat. All right. Here they're cheating. So we've got the trailer like this, and we got to find a way to stick these guns on the side. And there's really, there's nothing, you don't have a spot where it really fits because you've got these little peg holes, and there's no place for them to peg hole on here. So how do they fix this? Well, they cheat. You flip this little panel out. This panel should be closed right here, but instead you flip it open, that's where you attach the gun. Which means you've got a hole in your uh, cab here in order to have a spot to attach the gun. So I guess maybe you could turn it around the other way so it'd be shooting behind and that kind of covers up the hole, but it kind of doesn't really. And so that's a little... That's a little funky disappointing, I guess. I would have liked that uh, that didn't quite work that way. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do in order to make stuff work. So, our cab that we end up with. Giant hole in the middle. Um, but, you know, it's all right. It's, it's loaded with stuff. Head on, you still have the same problem you had with uh, Optimus with having this middle part that's uh, just kind of open. But nonetheless, it's there. And I will say that, again, because it's all black, I think it looks better than the Optimus because Optimus had a big red panel here and then the rest was, uh, you know, gray and silver. Whereas here, it's all black, so it's a little harder to distinguish those parts. And that is Nemesis Prime. So it looks okay. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, again, it's not perfect, but again, it's, it's a, a $40 you know, maybe 45, maybe 50, depending on where you're picking it up. Some places online I saw it for like 35. If you can get it at 35, it's kind of a no brainer, really. Uh, it's not, it's not perfect. Very few, uh, transformers are, uh, but it does do the job and it does do it pretty well. And it is kind of impressive to say that you have one that can be the nemesis packs that can be, uh, nemesis prime, and then can also turn into, the truck. And again, you if you turn the guns backwards, I think it, it, it helps to cover up that hole. Um, he's got, you know, plenty of weapons on there, so maybe he needs something to shoot somebody who's attacking him from behind. So, I, I, I like it. I like it. Again, it grows on me. At, at first, I want to say, it's not perfect, but then after a while, you go, you know what? It, it is pretty good. It is it is good. So, no, no problem there. Alright. So, that is our nemesis Prime. And I will probably display them in robot mode. And, you know, there's the one we looked at last week. I'm probably going to put them right next to Prime uh, side by side because it does look like a masterpiece uh, when it uh, transforms. You know, again, not perfect, but it does look good. So as a, as a cheaper alternative to a masterpiece, we've got that. So now's the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is where we're going to look at Tatus. Tatus. Sounds like Tater, but he's not Tater. He's Tatus. And again, I got this from Cracker Barrel. $14.99, which is more than I wanted to pay, but everything in their toy shop is you know, way more expensive than it needs to be. Uh, but there was just something about this. Uh, and, and I just want to point out, when you look at the gun and you think, oh, that gun looks uh, you know, pretty cool. That's, that's not bad. And then look at this robot. This is going to be interesting because that is a dumb looking robot. That is a horrible looking. What the heck is wrong with him? Why is he wearing a camping backpack 
uh, you know, they just not the same level of craftsmanship goes into these thoughts. And then, of course, the, your giant combiner. Like, I like the idea that it makes a combiner. Uh, I, I don't know what it would uh, really look like in person. If I can get the rest of these, I will, even though it's kind of pricey. I mean, I'm buying four more of these things. That's 60, that's 75 bucks to put together this combiner. Maybe not. Uh, if I can find a deal, maybe I can find a Chinese website I can order these from. Um, but you can look at some of those other robot models, and you can see that they are not fantastic. Uh, some of those robots, again, have a lot of the same... Same design problems we're looking here at, at Tater. I'm sorry, Tatus. Uh, but if you look at the box, there's not a whole lot going on to it other than on this side are the instructions. So you can see how he actually transforms. And it looks like it's not too bad. And then it shows uh, the, uh, the way you actually transform him to make him part of that combiner. So... Uh, you just modify them a little bit in order to attach them onto there, but nonetheless. All right, so let's get Tatus open here. Oh, he actually comes with several darts. I thought for sure there'd be one dart in there, but you get five darts. And uh, I'm not sure if these are uh, Nerf Blaster compatible, uh, but it looks pretty good. And let's see, if we take this out, you can see there's a sticker on the back that's actually upside down. Whoop! That's it's uh, happiness. Happiness Express Limited, Shentao, Guangdong, China. Production date twelve twenty seventeen. Batch number one three eight four two zero. Made in China. Really? Made in China? I had no idea. Okay, so uh, this is this is the blaster. It's got this extra part stuck here. I think I'd probably, for my giant hands, have to turn it down. Uh, no, actually, I guess I can fit. All right, so makes a little bit of a hand there. We have this extra piece right here. I'm guessing this is his gun when he's in full robot mode. One thing I want to point out at this, if you look at it, okay, so Hasbro, we've seen them do this over and over again. Um, Takara, Tomy, whoever that you can see in order to save plastic, they you know cut out part of it and make it hollow, but they've put a design into it. So it actually has still a futuristic gun look, even though it's only using that small amount of plastic. I'll give them credit for that. I'll give them credit for that. That is uh, a, a good idea. Um, you know, it's like you want to save on some plastic, save to earth and all that kind of stuff, but at the same time, you know, you got to make it functional, make it do something. So they put a design into it. Oh. So we. So this is probably part of the reason why it's such a funky transformation is that you do have this spring loaded feature. You pull it back, it doesn't quite go all the way. I guess. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. A little. A little bit of extra action when you shoot it. All right, let's stick a dart in here. The dog is leaving. The dog is walking out of the room. He's like, uh-oh, I heard that, that nerf spring. The dog knows it's time to go. All right, so here we go. All right, so transformer, nerf gun. Let's see how this does. See if I can aim. Just missed. Just missed, but okay. So there's our Transformer Nerf gun. Now, let's see, or I'm sorry, Exchanger's Nerf gun. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, so the first thing we do is we take off the gun. So his gun comes off from the bottom. Okay. So we flip this out and around like here. And then, what is this? Oh, we're going to pull this apart like this. Uh huh. Doesn't really doesn't really want to come apart. Let's see. What is it showing me? Okay. So look, look. The the picture on the top, like it changes to this other view. I don't know what that's a view of. It's it's the guns like this, and then you, it goes it goes twist it. Boop. Am I what? Am it? Okay. So I guess maybe like this. I'm looking. I've got silver stuff coming out. This is this comes apart and and this 
Is it, what? What the? I don't know what's moving. I don't know what's supposed to come apart here. These, I'm guessing these are arms. Okay. All right, so these are arms, I guess. Uh, this this comes apart. Once, once we have these arms down, like this, okay. And the hands, the hands rotate. Okay, so we've got hands. These legs, though, how am I? Oh, I see, okay. So this panel uh, is actually supposed to come loose here. That allows it to pull apart, spread his legs, and then rotate him down like this, right? That's what we have, that's Tatus, okay. All right, and then now, once we have them like this, there are tabs. They've actually tabbed. There's a small tab right there that the yellow panel, if I can, did you hear that snap? Snaps into place. Uh, and then the top here, okay, so, so he looks like this. The picture looks like this. I don't know where those extra flaps on the head are supposed to come from. Uh, it just shows there's what the hell? Oh my gosh, these it doesn't even really show it on here. Okay, so look at the instructions. You can see you take out the leg, you flip it out, and then there's something on the yellow there. There's some kind of arrow. It's like what what the heck is that? That is this part back here, his butt. You spread his butt cheeks and flip them up to his head. He is, he is a butt head. That's, that's what it really comes down to. That is how to make Tatus into uh, his robot mode. So this is robot mode of Tatus. Again, looks like he's wearing a, a, a camping backpack. Or something. Uh, this is how he's supposed to look when he's in his robot mode. Skinny little frog legs, tiny little weak arms, and then the most gigantic. Head. Why would you even? I, I don't. I don't get. I think that looks a thousand times better. But they wanted to add one more layer. See, doesn't that look better? That I mean, it's still kind of awkward. But they wanted to add one more layer of transformation. Just to say it transforms more. So there you go. You've got that big dumbass thing on the back of his head. So this is Tatus, the, 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 the air blaster uh, changeable robot. And you can see there's the, the hole where he's going to peg into that giant combiner. Uh, I, I really wish I had him so that we could uh, look. Oh, and the head. The, the head of Tatus uh, can actually rotate down to go out of sight when he's in blaster mode, and they didn't bother to do that uh, because it looks like the way it rotates down, it might actually get stuck down in there. And you might not be able to get it back out uh, once it goes down in there if, it, if you push it too far flush. But all right, so nonetheless, there's there's Tatus, and you know, actually, I wonder now. I want to put him back in blaster mode because I'm more like. Blaster mode is obviously a lot cooler than his robot mode here. Uh, his, his, his alt mode uh, is definitely much better than his robot mode. I'm wondering if you can still use it with these blaster chunks. Uh, let's see. There, there's a lot, at least I give him credit, there, there's a lot of like little pegs and holes to hold things into place there. So I give them credit for that. I mean, they, th this design team is not, not completely inept uh, when it comes to, you know, designing this stuff and putting it together. Um, they're just obviously not the best at what they do. But they've put some thought into it. So they're, they're obviously, I would say, obviously fans uh, of the product. But, uh, all right, so, so here, here are the things that had to flip up. And so when you flip them down like this, you got that blaster mode. 
All right, it pulls back. I'm wondering, can you spread his butt? Oh, I see it. Ah, that's why. It's a safety feature. It's a safety feature they had to put together because when you, when you crack his butt and, and attach it to his head and make the butt head maneuver, you can't pull it back anymore. So there's no, once he's in robot mode and you've transformed him, there's no using the gun feature. It's not going to work anymore. You can't pull it back because of the way it's attached because that's the part that moves to attach it. So you would have to do that and then you would have to think of it way in advance while you're transforming if you want to be able to shoot out of him when he's in robot mode. So, okay, I can see the reasoning behind it. I still don't necessarily like it, but I can see the reasoning behind it. Although I think this looks a lot cooler as a blaster uh, than the way it was before. Oh, and here's the other thing. You see, this, this part sticks out when you pull it back. This is what's actually shoving your um, dart out the front end. So this is actually helping to cover up that part of the gun. Okay, so it makes sense. They, they, there is some thought put into the design choices. This, this thing here, I think, bothers me the most of all uh, because those are the feet when he's in robot mode. I, I wish they, they, it, it doesn't fold in all the way, and I wish there was a way to fold it flush with this part, even if it was sticking off the bottom down here, but that's as far as it can go. I really wish that was around instead of being... Just kind of like this, you know, short finger guard, uh, whatever. But yeah, that's all right. So as, as these, I don't know if you want to call this third part. It's not a knockoff, right? Because it's not, this isn't Soundwave. This isn't Shockwave. This isn't Megatron. This isn't anybody that's been a blaster gun. Tatus is a completely new uh, original uh, figure. But at the same time, uh, you know, is it third party? Do you consider it third party? Um, although I see it's got it's got holes in here. I wonder if that's for airflow, probably. But I wonder if I could take one of these. No, it's the wrong size. I was hoping I was hoping I could take one of these off Nemesis Prime uh, and attach it on. I was like, oh, that'd be that'd be nifty. But those holes there are. A different size so those those aren't necessarily going to work but nonetheless here we have tatus man keep missing i gotta work on my aim i guess i'm just i just don't shoot stuff enough okay well guys that's going to do it for formers friday um we're going to do a, a lot more live streaming starting next week here on the channel so again if you have any questions comments whatever tweet me email me throw them on the youtube page throw them in the video down here whatever um Here's the plan. We're going to start doing a lot more live streaming. And I say we, and I mean me, <laughs> a lot more live streaming. We're going to try to do stuff. I don't want to say daily necessarily because I don't want to get stuck in a trap where it's like, oh, crap, I got to come up with something and I've got nothing to do. So we come up with some sort of garbage video, you know, just to fill uh, time, just to have something there. You know, with Formers Friday, we try to do it every week, but we do take weeks off every now and again uh, just to have some time to recharge or go on vacation or whatever. But we are going to do a lot more live streaming starting on Monday with the Monday Mailbag. Now, the Monday Mailbag, I talked about this a little bit last week. It's something we're starting to put together here. Uh, send... Tweets, send emails, send um, post comments on YouTube or on Facebook and the Pop Culture Network group or whatever, and we're going to answer those. And I have some already that you guys have sent in that I'm going to stick in a little pocket and hold on to, and we're going to start those on Monday with the mailbag. Um, you know, we might do some sort of Toy Tuesday, Wild Card Wednesday. I don't know how all of this is going to work out. Um, now, some of the stuff that we've done on the website, you know, Fans of Power is still here, Beyond Retro. Um, those things, they've moved to a different live YouTube channel, um, but they will always be on popculturenetwork.com, so make sure you go there to find that stuff. Or if you just want the toy stuff, go to thatnewtoysmill.com. You just want the comic stuff, go to ineedcomics.com. Um, if you just want whatever sports stuff we may put out, and I don't think we have really anything going right now, but you can go to lockerroomhq.com. You know, we have all these different dot coms that came together to make Pop Culture Network originally. You can just go to popculturenetwork.com, find it all. Um, uh, and uh, Lucky Legends, we're trying to get that back going again. Aaron Johnson, uh, the, 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 
the great waffle nader, uh, whatever he calls himself. Uh, he he wants to get back into doing um, Lucky Legends. He hasn't really done one in a long time. I just had a bunch of stuff going on in his life, and that's fine. I'm doing this because the geek hasn't been able to do a Former's Friday uh, for a while. He's got a lot of stuff going on in his life. That's fine, um, you know. So. People working out, you know, how that stuff's going to work. But always go to popculturenetwork.com. You can find everything there. Here on this channel, this is my, uh, this is live streaming on my channel, uh, Dirt. And you can always find it, um, I think it's youtube.com slash Dirt Mound is where you're always going to find my live channel when I do these live streams. Of course, these will also go, uh, these videos are also going to go on the Pop Culture Network YouTube channel. So you can find the stuff there. If you're watching it there, Great. Again, leave comments and questions, whatever. We'll use them on the Monday mailbag feature. Um, but getting into some more of this live stream type stuff, video game stuff, I want to do again. Um, let's plays, play it loud, whatever we're going to call it. Uh, do some more of those. We got to find a way, though. I, I'm, I, I got to find some sort of capture device that works well with my setup and, and, and the, the computers that I have. I have this new computer that's great for live streaming here, but I can't really live stream and play games, capture at the same time. So I got to figure out you know, how to balance that and which way to set all that kind of stuff up, or capture the footage and just upload it, you know, as as a different type of video. I'm not exactly 100 percent sure how we're going to do that, but nonetheless, uh, I may maybe I'll do it as a Twitch or a Mixer uh, stream and then upload it later. I don't know. That's some stuff. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, if if you have any ideas on how to do any of that stuff, uh, make sure let me know. Um, if any of you are using anything particular like an Elgato uh, stream capture or something along those lines for capturing, let me know You know how well it works and what kind of setup you have to have, how, how powerful a computer do you need in order to use that type of stuff. Um, the one I've got now is pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with the way this computer is working out, and hopefully the stream looks clearer, looks better. Those of you who are able to see it, I hope you're looking at it, and you can tell... That was wonderful! Bravo! I loved that! That was great! So it looks a lot better than the one I had before. So, uh, keeping all of that in mind, thanks for watching, guys. Send the questions, comments, subscribe if you like, thumbs up if you want. You know, you guys know how all that stuff works. I'm not going to bother you with all that YouTube spiel. Um, but make sure you get your questions, comments in. You can email me, dirt at popculturenetwork.com. Twitter is at PCN underscore dirt. Uh, or, of course, just leave them here on the videos. But whatever, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.